Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything. Channel likes Try Anything, so you don't have to. What we're going to take a look at today, we're going to take a look at a product if um, which is called Polywatch. Now, Polywatch, if you've got uh, Polywatch, is like a like a kind of a polish that you can get for um, if you own a lot of plastic watches. And as as you know, with the uh, We Try Anything channel, we do tend to get. We do have a lot of watches that we have featured on the channel, which are um, kind of plastic, um, have like a plastic dial window to them or a dial to them. And the actual dial window is like a plasticky resin glass. And the problem with the resin glass is that what happens is it picks up scratches, as you can see here. And obviously, as you know, with the kind of range of watches that we have featured on the channel, which are predominantly Casio, they tend to have this resin glass dial really and what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd feature the actual product that I do use to clean these up and I have I have used this quite extensively and I have picked this up I've, I've been using it since um, September in 2021 what I thought I'd do I just kind of thought I'd share it with you and say what I think about this product and whether it's worth you considering maybe investing in something like this if you do have a lot of Casio watches or watches which have this resin plastic glass to them which tend to be you know the more affordable or budget range of watches um which aren't just uh predominantly casio there's all sorts of watches that have that kind of um resin sort of dial to them so um what i'll do is i'll just quickly talk about the actual product um i'll show you how it works um using um some cotton wool pads which is what it suggests on the actual um, instructions here and obviously I'll just uh, clean up this watch here which will be featured on the channel in probably in the next couple of reviews and um, just show you what it's like really and give you my thoughts after so Polywatch it, it is a polish as such and what it does it wears away a little or it just takes off a little bit of the um, like it, a, you know any kind of micro abrasions or any scratches that you may have and it is a very well i would say it's a it's a very cheap product as such for what it does and there's um if you look at some of the reviews on amazon which is what this is featured on uh, there is a link to it below and um, there's a lot of people who really do rate this product and as i said i i mean like i've been using this since september and at first i was a little bit skeptical because obviously there's a lot of watches i feature on the channel such as this one which i get off ebay or i buy from um i sometimes buy used or pre-loved would probably be the better term where they do turn up like this and before i get it on camera or before i use it um for a review i do like to nine times out of ten clean them up take the scratches off the actual display and um, you know just feature them on the channel in a better state than when I get them so that's why I've been using this now as I say it is a polish um, it uses it's a little bit abrasive in the way it works by taking off just a very slim area of the actual dial window it's like as I say what you would get with car polish and the like um, it just you know just a very small and it just takes away some of these abrasions that you got here so what I'll do, I'll just go and get some um, some cotton wool pads and I'll just show you what it's like. So here we go. I mean, I've just got a couple of makeup pads that I, uh, my wife has. And yeah, I have used in the past, I have used a microfiber cloth, you know, like a clean uh, microfiber cloth. And I have also used kitchen um, tissue, like kitchen roll. And that does the job just as well, really. It's just something to apply this thing onto. And as you can see on the watch, uh, this being the Casio W210, uh, which has a module number, if anyone's interested, of 2963. Um, you can see the, the, the marks on here. And, I mean, I, I'm not going to say it's like a, a wonder product, but it will get rid of stuff like this to make the actual watch fresh. And the reason why I thought I'd feature it as well is if you do have a collection of watches, which I do, which I've got about 13, 14 Casios at this minute in time, um, you know it is a great product it just kind of alleviates or gives you a little bit more peace of mind when you do wear these watches out and about uh, or you are gardening and stuff and they do pick up the odd scratch and stuff like that then in theory this this product does help in alleviating that worry really so what i'm going to do as i said i'm going to pop it on the um the watch and it you just literally apply it as thus let's pop the top over there and you literally just apply it as 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 you can see here now what i tend to do first i mean again you know there's plenty of other reviews on on youtube that may be doing it a bit different to me and what i tend to do is just apply it to the watch face initially i'll just pop that uh, over there just out of the way and um what i then do is just uh, get a 
a some form of cloth or a um, what I've got here which is a cotton wool pad which I'm just doing it because that's what the instructions say to use and then you just rub for a I would say a good five five ten minutes depending on how severe the area is I mean if it is more kind of micro abrasions um, you, obviously it takes a little less time now um, what I find with this product I mean straight away you can see the difference it is it is starting to go the scratches I mean they're nowhere near as bad as they were previously I mean um, I just can see one just there off camera there you go so we'll just concentrate on that and what I tend to do as I say I tend to do it for about five ten minutes just to just to you know give it a bit of a vigorous um, polish as such because that's what this is basically d doing and just to see how it affects the actual um, dial or dial window or the resin glass that's going on here and you know it is starting to get rid of the scratch I mean it's not instant and it does take a little bit of time to do um, but you can see what it's picking up off the glass I mean as I say I have I have actually given this a quick wash just to something I always do if I get like an old watch off eBay um, just give it a wash just to make sure it's okay and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a bit more and I'll speed up the footage I mean, as you can see, it is starting to work away at that. It kind of levels it off a little bit. What's going on here? I mean, it does. I mean, these, this is probably a, quite a particularly bad example of what I've received because normally they're not as bad as this. But as you can see, it's still taking off. <laughs> there must be so much rubbish on this glass. Um, it's quite interesting how much it's taking off. I mean, or is it taking off anything on the sides? No, I can't say. I mean, as you can see, it's a, it's a watch that's been well worn and well well loved, as it were. I mean, it is starting to work away at it. I mean, you can see just here, it's starting to level it off. I mean, I'll just keep concentrating. I mean, I sometimes just concentrate on the areas that I can see the scratches and just carry on, really. So, again, a bit of high speed footage going on there. Yeah, it definitely is picking up. It's definitely getting rid of I mean I can see it's rounding off what's going on there and that, that's virtually going in here as it is and that's a it is a, I do find it a very good product especially one you know when you have got a few scratches or you have your watch has picked up a few scratches I mean I did review a, a Casio the other day which was the AEQ 110 and um, there was a few quite deep scratches and after a while it did eventually get rid of it um, so you can see it's just starting to try and level that off there. I mean, that scratch is still there. So what I'll do, I'll concentrate on it a bit more off camera and then um, I'll show you the results after. So just to show you a little bit more of the before. So there is a bit of a scratch going on there and a little bit there. And then I'll just quickly show you what it's like after. Right, so after a bit of uh, kind of just rubbing and stuff, what I thought I'd do, I'd just moved onto a, a kitchen towel as such uh, just to see if it would help or it would speed up the process of the polishing and as you can see there I mean this is the same watch uh, I haven't swapped watches or anything like that exactly the same watch with the same amount of wear on it uh, around the actual um, case and stuff like that but what I've done I've also just applied a little bit just on the corners just to see if it would take off any scratches that are on there and I've got to say it is a you know it is an effective solution or an effective way just to get rid of any little scratches that you've got on the watch I mean you can see from the time you know how long I've been away from the camera just giving it a, a, a you know wiping it down as such just to see if I can get any more scratches off the watch and you know after a couple of applications of poly watch it really has done it's really done the trick really and it also what I also find it does brighten up the display of the watch really and as I said what I found is probably a little bit quicker with a like a kitchen towel as such so if you haven't got um you know makeup cotton wool pads or just cotton wool which is what poly watch does suggest in its instructions then what you may find is just like a kitchen towel probably just do the job just as well or even a microfiber cloth really just to get yourself get in the you know just get as an applicator and as something just to rub away at it so as I've shown you you just literally apply it as thus 
uh, you rub at it so obviously as you can see here I mean I'm still taking off bits of blue and stuff I mean obviously I'm guessing some of it may be from the actual surrounding areas of it but that just to show that just shows you how it does take off an element or just a very hot you know very microscopic top layer of the of the actual watch or the glass that it's on and as you can see that's all you do so I just went round it and round and round and round. I mean, you can go probably left to right or up and down. It doesn't really matter really. It's just like a polish really. And obviously you just keep at it as I've shown you earlier and what I've done off camera. And it does eventually, you know, you're gonna give it a little bit of elbow grease. I mean, a little bit of pressure. That's what I've applied here. And you know, the watch does come up really well. But as I say, if you have got really deep scratches, then I can't vouch for how 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 well it does it but it has you can see there's some of the scratches that this has had and some of the watches that i have featured on the channel have had this product to apply to them just to make the actual item or just to make the watch more appealing and obviously not to show many scratches on there so to summarize what do i actually think of this product i think it's really good and i do say that if you have a uh, watch collection that does feature resin glass um watches as such then you know it's a must-have i feel i mean for the five pound that you pay or th well you can get it between th say three to five pound depending on where you get it from whether you get it from amazon or um the likes of ebay and stuff like that um it, it's just worth having in your in your actual kind of in a drawer or somewhere so when you do pick up a new watch or you, you your watch has picked up a new scratch or anything like that then obviously you just get yourself a rag or um sorry like a bit of cloth or um like in this case as i've mentioned as well like a a bit of a cotton wool and it does clean it up really well and I've, I've got to say i mean i've been using it since september and i've used it for quite a few watches that i have featured on this channel and you know it's been you know it's been absolutely amazing so would would i would i suggest it i would heartily give you a thumbs up on that i would because for the price that you pay it does help keep your watch nice and fresh uh, hopefully you know as scratch free as possible um, obviously if they are deep scratches then I can't vouch for that but as you've seen on here the scratches that this has picked up you know not only has it freshened up and brightened up the display but it has um, removed the scratches because um, I just cannot see any scratches whatsoever on this display and so there you go it's a great product well worth considering or well worth buying and adding to the collection or and helping maintain a collection of resin watch uh, resin based watch faces and watches that you have got so i hope you like the review and if you did then please click on the uh, like button it always helps the channel and if you want to see more reviews and uh, views and stuff and of products that are going to be featured soon on the channel then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching the video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye